Place the media on the table and align the bottom left edge with the print start position. Press the vacuum button to turn on the suction system. Open the suction valve for any area of the table containing the media. The media will stick to the table. Open the UV flatbed controller software. Navigate to the folder with the saved.prn file and open it. Click the Head Z Position Setting button. To adjust the platen gap automatically, select Measure Automatically. Specify the X and Y positions at which the measurement will be performed. Specify the current head height, then click Execute. If you need to raise the height after adjustments, enter a value, click Execute, then click OK. If you know the thickness of the media or want to print at a specific height, select Specify Manually. Enter the material thickness value, click Execute, then click OK. Before you start printing, check these lights. If any light is red, the corresponding ink tank is low and you must refill it before you begin. Select the RIP file from the list. Click this button to see a preview of the full table area. Adjust these settings as needed. Click Print. Then click Start Printing. Click Pause to pause printing. Click it again to resume printing. To stop printing, click Cancel. At the end of each workday, perform the maintenance procedures described in this section. Click Clean to move the carriage to the maintenance position. When you see this message, hold these buttons for 10 seconds. Then click OK. When you see this message, clean the surfaces of the print head nozzles. Then clean the surface around the printhead nozzles. When you're done, click OK. When you see this message, move the flushing box to the front of the ink receiver, then click OK. Print a nozzle check pattern. Clear the nozzles if they are clogged. Close the waste ink outlet valve, then remove the waste ink bottle and transfer the ink to another container. Press the vacuum button to turn off the suction system. Clean off any ink from the media table. Close the UV flatbed controller software and turn off the computer. Press the stop button. Make sure both ink pressure readings are in the indicated ranges. 
Make sure the sub-tank temperature is 30 degrees Celsius or higher. Open the carriage cover, then use a wrench to close all of the ink tank valves. Close the cover. 